Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a tutorial for these Katy Perry nails. They are inspired by the music video to Dark Horse. Dark Horse has heaps of Egyptian themes and I really really like this one scene at the very end I think it was where Katy Perry is in this really fantastic winged costume and it's just amazing. So here's a shot of that here. So that scene pretty much inspired this whole tutorial because it's really really cool. Um, and so I went with the gold which is seen in the wings in Katy Perry's costume for the ring finger and thumb and I've used um, the pattern that was around her neckline um, for a costume as kind of like a tribal print on my index and pinky and on my middle finger there's just the name of a song with some sort of related triangle geometric shapes. This is actually my second Katy Perry nail art tutorial. I've also done This Is How We Do and I will leave that link down below and um, around here somewhere. So I'll leave it there. I hope you like the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and I will see you later. As always, start off with a base coat. This will help a nail polish stay on better and protect your nails from staining. Next, paint your middle finger, your ring finger and your thumb black. All the names of the polishes I used are linked down below in the description box. Then paint your other nails with a nude nail polish. Once you've done a couple of coats, they should be looking something like this. For the ring finger and the thumb, I'm going to be using these glitters that I've got from Born Pretty Store. Um, I'll put a link down below as to where you can buy them. I'm just tipping a bit on some paper and I'll pick them up with my wax pencil. I won't go into too much detail about how to use these glitters because just a little while ago I made a video all about it. So I'll link to that one down below and on the screen because that gives you a full summary of how to use them. Alright, so just start applying your glitters with your clear nail polish and your wax pencil or orange stick. I was kind of gutted because my gold glitters are quite jagged and I didn't know they were like that because my rainbow ones were perfect so I don't know if I got a bad batch but maybe it's just worth bearing in mind that these might not always be exactly top notch quality. Then again at Born Pretty Store you pay very low prices so I don't know I still think it's worth taking the risk but I was a wee bit gutted. Just keep on doing the thumb and the ring finger this way and just finish off the same way I showed you in my other video. Add a top coat and here we are. Next I'm dabbing some gold nail polish onto my palette. If you want to get one of these you can find the link down below. This gold polish is so perfect for this design because it's really opaque but also very glittery and you don't normally find many gold polishes that aren't just boring top coats whereas this is really good for normal designs. It's called Carried Away from Nicole by OPI. Anyway so as you can see I've done a couple of straight lines horizontally across my nails and now I'm adding some small vertical lines to make little boxes. Then just add two more horizontal lines across your nails. Now it's time to fill in the boxes. I'm using this beautiful teal colour. And alternating it with pink. Now we're going to add in some red zigzags, just do it like I'm doing here, starting in the middle and going out to the sides. Then fill them in. Now we're going to add some tiny blue squares on their sides, or diamonds, in between these zigzag triangles. Then add a pastel green dot inside each red triangle. As I was kind of making this up in the spot, I decided to add in a few more of these gold boxes, but this time make it pink and light pink. And then I added a few teal dashes along the top. Now on to the last nail. Carefully paint on the words dark horse using a really really thin brush. If you don't have a thin brush, I have got a tutorial all about how to cut down your thicker nail art brushes to make them suitable for this sort of work. The link for that video will be down below in the description box. 
After you've painted on the words, go over them again with the same colour, just to make them a little bit more opaque. Another sneaky trick is to use the background colour again, in this case black, to go around the outside of the letters, just thinning them up a bit. Now all there's left to do is to make some triangles onto the same nail. I'm using a light pastel blue first. Then making a couple of lines inside that in a darker blue. And then adding a small amount of gold to it. Clean up around your cuticles with a brush dipped in nail polish remover. And apply a top coat. That's it! Thanks heaps for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and check out my other tutorials. See you later!